Hi, I'm Gloria, and thank you for joining me. We're going to be looking at some decorating that's in some purples tonight. So, you know what? Purple is a really cool color. It's a really neat, creative color for you for using in your home. It's kind of a cross between that soothing blue color and then the exciting red color. And you combine those two together and obviously you're getting purple, right? So let's take a look at some things that you could be using as purple uh, decorating in your home. So this could, would work great in a bedroom or also in your living room, maybe even in a dining room. So look at this gorgeous uh, print with the purples in here of the hydrangeas. But it not only has the purples, but it also has some teal colors in it and also some green on the other side in the hydrangeas. Because if you have grown hydrangeas, you know that they can come up in multiple colors. And so we captured that right here in this print. It's absolutely beautiful, a beautiful print. And then just to accent more of the purple, if you just add a runner to the bottom, that's gonna pull a little more of that purple out of there. If you wanted to play down the purple, you could use a green runner or a white runner, right? Or maybe even a gray with that one. So this is a gorgeous print. It has a, a, a faux wood floating frame to it. So it's pretty cool. Now also um, a way to add color in your home is with pillow covers. Now, yes, it looks like a pillow. Let me pop over here. Looks like a pillow and it is, it is a pillow right now. But you know what, if you can use pillow covers in your home, they are a very easy way to change up the color scheme that you're doing or the look that you're doing or give it a spring look from the winter look. So pillow covers are great to do that. They usually have a zipper right in the seam and you can pop your pillow in there and you know, pillow covers, they get dirty and you can take the pillow cover off and wash them and dry them. And it's a whole lot easier than using an actual real pillow, right? Okay. And then we add some candlelight. Now you can go with faux candlelight if you want to or real candlelight. Here we have a dough bowl candle and the dough bowl candle. These are pretty cool because you can burn a candle in these and then once it's gone, you have this gorgeous bowl because they're all hand carved, no two are the same. Or you can actually get inserts, um, inserts. You can get refills for the candle that you can actually turn that back into a candle too. And it's not even half the price of the candle to get the refill. So that's pretty cool too. In the faux um, candlelight, you can get the LED candles that we have inside here. It has, this one has a really light vanilla scent to it, so it's pretty cool. It's kind of an ivory glow to it. It's battery operated, it's also on timers, so that's awesome if you can have something on a timer. And then just pulling out some of the natural wood tone from the frame here, we're using this um, kind of a rustic lantern that you can pull some of that color into the decor that you're using. So maybe this is out in a, um, on the coffee table or maybe even on an end table, uh, you can use that in, in your home. And you know what? When you can get something in two sizes, it's great, right? You can get two different sizes. This one has, of course, a smaller, smaller candle in there as well. And then popping back over to the other side, we have um, just a really cute thing to hold some florals in. You might be using real florals in your home. And if you are, you definitely want to make sure that like, this is a metal vase that look, looks like it's a, a pitcher, which is cool. But you would want to put a glass cylinder down in here to hold the water because you don't want to put the water right into this metal. It's not going to work very well. All right. But you can use the faux florals as well. Look how beautiful these stems of hydrangeas are. That's absolutely adorable. And I'm gonna tell you, see how they're standing up there real nice and straight and pretty? I'm gonna show you a real easy trick that you can use to do that with your faux florals. So I'm gonna pull these out. And can you see what's inside there? There is a few empty paper towel rolls. So we take the stems and we pop those into the empty paper towel roll. And even though the stems are too long, look how nice it looks and you can't see that there's an empty paper towel roll in there and your hydrangeas are gonna stand up and be absolutely gorgeous. So that is a really cool trick. And then just to um, kind of top everything off, it's always nice to have just a cute little sign. And this house full of love is 
uh, pretty amazing because it is a three-dimensional. So it's got your ferns on here with it, which is your green tones. And then the little shape of a house, it's always cute for inside. And then as I put my hand behind her, you can see that that is three-dimensional. The word love is actually out there in the front. So as you can see, it just kind of pulls everything together that we have here in that purple decorating. So I don't know if you use purple in your home and maybe it's a color that you would love to use, but you just don't know where you want to use it. Try it in a small room, like the bathroom, right? The bathroom doesn't really change. The fixtures are the fixtures, right? So you can change up colors in the bathroom and try them out in there. And if you like them in there, then you can go ahead and take them and move them into a bigger room in your home when you know that that's something that you're gonna like. All right, so thanks for stopping in to today and uh, checking out some purple decorating with me. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.